While sensemaking has been studied by other disciplines under other names for centuries, in information science and computer science the term sensemaking has primarily marked two distinct but related topics. Sensemaking was introduced as a methodology by Brenda Durvin in the 1980s and to human-computer interaction by Park researchers Daniel Russell, Mark Steffick, Peter Paroli and Stuart Card in 1993. In information science, the term is often written as sensemaking. In both cases, the concept has been used to bring together insights drawn from philosophy, sociology, and cognitive science especially social psychology. Sensemaking research is therefore often presented as an interdisciplinary research program. As a process Sensemaking can be described as a process of developing sophisticated representation and organizing information to serve a task, for example, decision-making and problem-solving Russell et al., 1993. Gary A. Klein and colleagues Klein et al., 2006b conceptualize sensemaking as a set of processes that is initiated when an individual or organization recognizes the inadequacy of their current understanding of events. Sensemaking is an active two-way process of fitting data into a frame mental model and fitting a frame around the data. Neither data nor frame comes first, data evoke frames and frames select and connect data. When there is no adequate fit, the data may be reconsidered or an existing frame may be revised. This description resembles the recognition metacognition model, Cohen et al., 1996, which describes the metacognitive processes that are used by individuals to build, verify, and modify working models or stories in situational awareness to account for an unrecognized situation. Such notions also echo the processes of assimilation and accommodation in Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development e.g., Piaget, 1972, 1977. As methodology Brenda Durvin, Durvin 1983, 1992, 1996 has investigated individual sensemaking, developing theories about the cognitive gap that individuals experience when attempting to make sense of observed data. Because much of this applied psychological research is grounded within the context of systems engineering and human factors, it aims to answer the need for concepts and performance to be measurable and for theories to be testable. Accordingly, sensemaking and situational awareness are viewed as working concepts that enable researchers to investigate and improve the interaction between people and information technology. This perspective emphasizes that humans play a significant role in adapting and responding to unexpected or unknown situations, as well as recognized situations. Durvin's work has largely focused on developing philosophical guidance for method, including methods of substantive theorizing and conducting research Nahmer, C. et al., 2008. In human-computer interaction After a seminal paper on sensemaking in the human-computer interaction (HCI) field was published in 1993, Russell et al. (1993), there was a great deal of activity around the understanding of how to design interactive systems for sensemaking, and workshops on sensemaking were held at prominent HCI conferences, e.g., Russell et al. (2009). Topic. See also Augmented cognition Topic References Information Science